For my ISP, I will be analyzing Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury and 1984 by George Orwell. A totalitarian government is never beneficial to its citizens, as it always ends in the citizens' oppression, but is never questioned. In both Fahrenheit 451 and 1984, both main characters develop feelings of hopelessness and sadness as a direct result of their constant government-mandated monitoring. In 1984, this is evident from the large poster hanging on the Ministry of Truth that reads, War is peace, freedom is slavery, ignorance is strength, such as the one shown right now. Even from the very beginning of the book, it is obvious that the government discourages the autonomy of its citizens. The government very clearly believes that everything will run smoother if they are in control and the citizens have no say in their own activities. They literally say that freedom is slavery, which in turn means that they believe all sense of self should belong to the government. In both novels, both main characters struggle with their love lives under such stressful living conditions. In 1984, although the reader gets to witness Winston meet his partner, Julia, the reader also gets to see him lose her as well. This demonstrates the immense power that the government has, so much so that they are able to literally manipulate his feelings and emotions. In Fahrenheit 451, the build-up to Mildred's betrayal is quite obvious. She begins to see that she becomes uncomfortable when discussing the matter of Guy's illegal books. She eventually decides to turn him in to the firemen. Although it occurs at different times in each novel, both main characters rebel from their governments. In 1984, Winston rebels towards the beginning of the book but is then thwarted by the government. He tried to go against what the group wants him to do and tries to live his own life. This very obviously shows his discontent with his current living situation. In Fahrenheit 451, Guy tries to rebel towards the end of the book and is actually successful in doing so by crossing a river and going to live in the forest with a group of like-minded people. All of these points further prove my thesis. If these men were happy in their situations, they would not try to rebel against the group leading them. The fact that they feel the need to counter the government's wishes demonstrates how unhappy they are. The fact that Mildred turned Guy in and that Winston is forced to betray Julia further demonstrates how the majority of people find this culture of blind following normal.